Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And today I am doing my Throwback Thursday movie special. And the movie I have chosen for this week is Every Which Way But Loose. Now this movie was released on December 20th, 1978. It is a action comedy film that received mixed to negative reviews from critics. Uh, Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune gave it two and a half out of four stars. It has a 6.4 out of 10 on IMDb, a 37% on Rotten Tomatoes, and 87% on Google. Now, the 37% on Rotten Tomatoes was only based on 23 reviews. It had a $5 million budget, and despite the negative reviews from most critics, it went on to become the second highest grossing film of 1978 with 104.3 million at the box office on a five million dollar budget and it became one of Clint Eastwood's highest grossing movies at that time the movie was directed by James Fargo and written by Jeremy J Kronzberg and it stars Clint Eastwood Sandra Locke Jeffrey Lewis Beverly D'Angelo, Ruth Gordon, John Quaid, and Manus as Clyde the Orangutan. Now, this movie is about a bare knuckle brawler named Philo Beto, along with his brother Orville, played by Jeffrey Lewis, who go around setting up these fights to make some money. In doing so, we find out later on that he's going to be fighting somebody that is a legend himself. He's looking to have one more fight before he retires, but we'll get into that here shortly. So we start off with the movie where we see uh, Philo, of course, getting ready to have one of his fights. And of course, he is one badass dude. Of course, Clint Eastwood was, uh, I believe, a semi-pro boxer to begin with. Um, so the things he was doing in this movie, you know, was actually looking really good, like he was really boxing. And I love the sound effects of the punches when they connect. I think it's great. Um, also in this movie, not only does he fight these bare knuckle fights, but he gets into it with not only a rock cop, but a local biker gang named the Black Widows. Uh, the leader of the Black Widows, Chala, played by John Quaid, are constantly tailing Philo Beto to get even with him because he, along with some other guys, beat the crap out of the Black Widows. And it is hysterically funny. It is amazing. Along the way, we find Philo falling in love with the local country singer who at the time, he was, I believe, was also either dating or engaged to Sandra, Sandra Locke. Uh, the character of Lynn Halsley is a country singer. Finds her at a local bar and he instantly falls for her. But she's keeping a secret. She's actually still with someone. And it turns out she turns out to be psycho in this movie for some odd reason. But he, te he keeps tailing her across the country because he has a thing for her. Also along with Fido, uh, Beto is his pal Clyde who is an orangutan, and Clyde in this movie, whose real name is Manus, is freaking awesome in this movie. Uh, people don't realize how strong orangutans are, and if they turn on you, they could kill you, they could snap your limbs off without hesitation. But uh, Manus was well-trained in this movie. Uh, from what I hear, uh, all the cats loved this orangutan, and uh, him and Clint were real, you know, good buddies, and in fact, they were such good buddies that um, I don't think Manus reprised his role in the sequel, but they brought back an orangutan and named him Clyde as well. I can't remember quite, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments uh, if they brought back Manus as uh, Clyde. I can't remember. I mean, I've seen the movie dozens of times. I just really hadn't paid attention if it was the same orangutan or not. Uh, if it was, great. If not, you know, 
because to me, I love it either way. But in this first movie, I love Clyde the Rangutan. There's a scene in the movie where we have the initial contact with the Black Widows, and the Black Widows are kind of teasing Clyde and Philo, and Clyde sticks his arm out and punches one of the bikers in the face and knocks him over. And uh, at another scene, he flips in the bird and everything. It's it's just freaking hysterical. And I love love movies with animals in them, especially uh, not your typical animals like cats and dogs, even birds. Here we have an orangutan, and I, I just love it. Um, and even though, like I said, they can be dangerous, I would still love to at least just uh, to be introduced to one or uh, have one. I would love to have one hanging around, actually. I think it'd be fantastic. Regardless, though, in this movie, uh, Philo's pursuing uh, Lynn Halsley. Along the way, Orville, Philo's brother, picks up a, a girl, Echo, played by Beverly D'Angelo, and they all head out trying to uh, chase down uh, Lynn Halsley. Along the way, like I said, towards the end of this movie, we see Philo fighting uh, uh, Murdoch, who is a legend fighter himself, and is looking to have one more fight before he hangs it up. And he's undefeated. And knowing this, Philo at first starts beating the crap out of him. And with the crowd that was behind him, they started turning on him, making fun of him, and Philo just couldn't stand that no more. So he purposely loses the fight so Murdoch could stay undefeated and that he could retire, which I think is one of the coolest things in the movie. Now, there are a, a couple of negatives. Some of the performances in the movie are lackluster. Uh, as far as the, the singing part with uh, Lynn Halsey's character, really, I mean, she wasn't really that good. But, you know, it is the movie, part of the movie. Um, we could have done without that, in my opinion. But uh, the soundtrack to this movie had several number one country hits. Um, and those, movie, uh, movie, those songs were uh, Every Which Way But Loose, the name of the movie, uh, Behind Closed Doors, and Coca-Cola Cowboy were all number one songs. For the soundtrack to this movie which is fantastic uh and then of course there was a sequel that was made in 1980 called any which way you can which is another one of uh, one of my favorite movies as well i love the sequel i was hoping we'd get a third and final movie in this but we didn't uh, but i love this original movie I love the cast, the songs, the story, and Clyde. You can't go wrong with Clyde. So with that, I'm going to give Every Which Way But Loose an 8 out of 10 and two thumbs up. This movie is freaking hysterical. I highly recommend you check it out if you haven't seen it. It is one of my favorite Clint Eastwood movies in his filmography, along with the sequel. So in the comment section below, if you've seen this movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. And between this movie and the sequel, which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you like this review, hit that like button. And if you have any suggestions for a Throwback Thursday movie review you want to see on my channel, leave it in the comment section below and I will definitely do that. Also, if you have a uh, request for a top 10 or ranking you want to see on this channel, let me know that in the comment section below. Other than that, I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for much more movie content, and check you later.